Hello and welcome to the episode 130 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, we'll have an audition for a Scottish tour, a couple of concerts in Hamburg, and a 1965 recording session. On the 10th of May 1960, the Silver Beatles and a host of other bands of the Liverpool area, like Cass and the Casanovas, Derry and the Seniors, Jerry and the Pacemakers and Cliff Roberts and the Rockers, auditioned before music promoter Larry Paynes and musician Billy Fury at the Vivern Social Club in Liverpool. The two men from London were looking for bands to act as backups for several of Parnes' protégés that would tour Scotland in the latter part of the month. The Silver Beatles hadn't performed together for weeks, and when their 10-minute slot came, they even found themselves without a drummer. Their man for the job, the recently hired Tommy Moore, was collecting his instrument from a club. Johnny Hutchinson from the Casanovas decided to sit in for the occasion. The band then featured George Harrison on guitar and voice, Johnny Hutchinson on drums, John Lennon on guitar and voice, Paul McCartney on guitar and voice, and Stu Sutcliffe on bass. It is not clear how the audition went. Alan Williams, then acting as the de facto manager of the Silver Beatles, maintained that Parnes liked the band, but was put off by Sutcliffe's tendencies to turn his back to the audience. Allegedly, Parnes offered the backing of Billy Fury in his upcoming tour to the band, on condition that Williams sacked Sutcliffe. The band refused. On the other hand, when asked about it years later, Parnes didn't recall anything of the sort. He was indeed put off, but by the late arrival of Tommy Moore, who showed up sweaty and red in the face in the middle of the Silver Beatles slot. The night ended with John Lennon getting an autograph from Billy Fury. One year later, in 1961, the Beatles, now with a more reliable Pete Best on drums, performed at the Top Ten Club in Hamburg, West Germany, for their ongoing residency there. Almost the same story in 1962. The Beatles, with Pete Best still on drums, performed at the Star Club in Hamburg for their third German residency. And let's close this overview of the first part of the Beatles' career with a piece of advice. If you are one of those three or four that are following this podcast, please consider visiting www.simonmas.com support and find out how you can be fab and let your voice be heard. Any comment, any share, any donation, no matter how small, will go a long way in making me feel how much you appreciate my work and will help me to put further effort in creating other music-related content for you to enjoy. Thank you! Busy day on the 10th of May 1965. The Beatles began a two-day shooting session at Clevenden House in Maidenhead to film the Buckingham Palace's interior scenes for their second feature film, Help. In the afternoon, the band returned to London for a recording session at the EMI Studios. From 8 to 11.30 pm, the Beatles recorded Dizzy Miss Lizzie and Bad Boy, two Larry Williams songs intended for the American market album Beatles the Sixth. The songs were performed live in studio with minimal overdubs, in seven and four takes respectively. It was nothing particularly remarkable, since these two songs had been in the band's live set since their early Cavern Club days. The recordings were then mixed in mono and stereo between 11.30 pm and 1.15 am. In UK, Dizzy Miss Lizzie was included in the Help album, while Bad Boy had to wait until December 1966 to be released in the A Collection of Beatles Holdies compilation. This completes today's episode. Tomorrow we'll fly to New York to have a word or two about the newly born Apple Core. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.